Welcome to another episode of Discover St. Cloud, Florida. I'm Kristen McCary, and I'm here with your host. Janine Corcoran, broker for Corcoran Connect, a real estate company in St. Cloud. That's awesome. And so we are uh, kicking off with our events for April. It is the beginning of April, and there's so many fun things going on. I love it's the spring season, so I feel like, you know, you have all the Easter events and just you know, in general spring flings, et cetera. So um, I figured we could talk about that. But you actually have a new phone number you want to give out today. Oh, yeah. This is for anyone that has any suggestions or wants to be on the podcast or, or you know, would love to talk to us more about it. Just um, call one eight four four St. Cloud. That S T C L O U D. It's easy to remember. We'd awesome. love to hear from you. Awesome. So I guess let's kick it off um, with our events for April. Um, by the time this airs, this one will probably be passed. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, that's true. Because there's one right in the beginning. But I have one. Well, we can skip it if we want. But anyway, I want to let you know, too. I wore pink for Easter. You know, Did you? Whole, yeah, yeah. Like an I'm Easter just, egg? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Easter egg. Smart. And I, wise guy. I wore black because that's all I own. <laughs> That's her, her daily uniform. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, so it's awesome. So movie uh, movie at the lakefront, which we love those. I mean, those are such a great time. Although it's happening today, so we're actually going to hope you had a good time. Right, Let hope us you know. had a good time. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't get rained out. It's a rainy day today, oh, but true. I think it's going to clear out. So, um, But they were going to show B- Clifford the Big Red Dog. So if you go, let us know how it was. Um, I won't be there. We have other commitments, but you know, it's always a fun time to see a movie out at the lakefront, especially Clifford, big red dog. Who doesn't want to see that? I know. I haven't seen it yet. I think my kids are too old now. <laughs> so this, cool. uh, the, ne- the next one, the, the, the adult nutrition class, I mean, that's, um, April 7th and that's from 10 to 11 and then they do it again at six to seven at night, which is pretty cool because then at least, um, you know, people that work, if they want right. to, you know, if they miss it, they get to go. But um, that's at Ho- Hopkins Park at 620 East 17th Street. Um, but that's, it doesn't cost anything, you know, so, I mean, anyone who knows, you know, you want to learn, you want to know more about nutrition, uh, you right. have a free event right here in St. Cloud. And apparently they talk about meal planning. That's like my Achilles heel, meal planning. I hate meal planning. I also hate cooking. Um Actually, I really would just rather order out. I do. I cook, I cook <laughs> a lot, begrudgingly. I want someone that would cook our meals for us. So, and I really, I do a look. I ask, but every time I s- explain like how I eat and how Bill eats, it's like, yeah, we can't do that. Like right. any of the ones that are already organized, I think I just need like a local woman that would I, I could just give him my recipes because Bill will eat a lot of what I eat. Right. And just say, can you just make these? But. Right. So if you're out there, let us know. So if you own a business or if you're interested in cooking for Janine because she doesn't <laughs> yes. want to have to cook herself. So I, we can stop eating call, out. Call one eight four four saint cloud That's S-T-C-L-O-U-D. right. S-T-C-L-O-U-D. Exactly. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. And so then uh, April 8th, what do we have going on then? Yeah. So April 8th, we have the uh, egg hunt, which is cool. Uh, well, sorry. This one's called <laughs> the adult moonlight egg hunt. And you have to be 21 or older. Why do you have to be 21 and older? Because there's drinking going on. Yes, yes. <laughs> so that's from 7 to 10, and that's at the ranch uh, at St. Cloud, which was the former Hastings Ranch. Right. And so for the, those of you um, who aren't aware, you just go down Narcusi Road, make a right on Jones. It's 5452 Jones Road. Um, it is $15 a person, but some of the things that they have are pretty good. Yeah, so we uh, they, they'll have DJ and dancing. Um, there's going to be food and drinks available for purchase. They have candy filled eggs and prizes. So uh, they did say to bring a flashlight. And I don't know about you and wear comfy shoes. I don't know about you, but the flashlight on my phone is not very good. Like get one of those mag lights, you know, you gotta like, you gotta oh, yeah, be yeah. in it to win it, man. Like <laughs> I, I'd be bringing like, like bug spray too, right? Right. I would yeah. think. Uh, tis the season much, yeah yeah tis the season to bring get your, bring, bring, yeah but that should be interesting though that I would be fun yeah, let's that, do it yeah april 8th put cool. it on the calendar yeah that, that sounds like fun <laughs> something for the adults yeah mm-hmm. that's awesome so that's next friday night i think if my yep. math is mm-hmm. correct that's right that's awesome. All right. And then uh, also on the 8th um, is the SpongeBob musical, April 8th, 9th, and 15th, um, and then at 7 p.m., and then April 10th and 16th at 2 p.m., mm-hmm. um, and that's at St. Cloud High School. I know. that. that good for them. I mean, they look like they had, I think they said they had 140 students. It's $15 a piece, right? Right. And um, tickets to start at eight, $8 for students, $15 adults, and $10 for seniors. So the seniors, you do get a break. But yeah. that would be fun to... You know, I don't know what the SpongeBob. I know, of course, I know SpongeBob. It was not one of my favorite cartoons. <laughs> oh, Lauren loved SpongeBob, oh. though. I 
<laughs> she did. Laura. She loved she loved SpongeBob. You know those late nineties babies, you know, they they really loved SpongeBob. He was so he I'm not so gonna annoying. say bad, but I really I know. didn't like him. He, I know. I did not like him at all. I know. At all. You made her watch those um those educational like um baby Einstein videos <laughs> with the with the Pima toads that gave me nightmares. Like I think I still have nightmares about those frogs that the Babies hatch out of the racks. Oh, well, if you Google it. Anyway, that. don't do it. Don't I know. don't it's do it. Disgusting. Um, but anyway, so I, I hate to digress, but I I hear actually St. Cloud High School has a really good theater program from okay. what I remember. Like mm-hmm. they always put on really cool productions. So I'm excited to see that one. I think it I think it'd be cool. Maybe that's something well then yeah, I was gonna say maybe that's something that Olivia would wanna go because she she I like dragging her along to see plays with, with us. <laughs> Yeah, she might go for that one. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty good, though. All right. So um, on April 9th, we have the Bluegrass Jam, um, which is down at Peghorn Nature Park, 2101 Peghorn Way from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. That's on a Saturday. Um, come on out, listen to the live acoustic bluegrass music and Saint, uh, at inside St. Cloud's Historic Cannery. Um, so, you know, it sounds like a good time. If you enjoy bluegrass music, go on out and, and enjoy. That was the... Um Pighorn Park was where they did the Halloween. Yes. Remember? The, the Trail of Terror? Yeah, yeah, Trail of Terror, which yeah. was really, really good. But um, uh, listen, d- don't forget the blood bank. The blood bank happens every other month, and it's in the St. Cal- Cloud Community Center. So they have it eight, Wednesday, April 13th. Um, what do you... Oh. Do I have the paper? No, I do. Okay, it, so you can read about that. <laughs> I do, I do. Um, so from 2 to 7 p.m. at the uh, community, inside the community center at 3101 17th Street in St. Cloud, Florida, um, they provide a free steak dinner. Yes, we'll be sponsoring it, this month. Yep, and you'll be sponsoring, uh, are you sponsoring along with the IOOF? What does that stand for? <laughs> So we, I had to look it up because I didn't know this. I had never heard, never heard of this. So this well, is I really have cool. because Bill and I have been giving blood for a long time there. So, right. so you know. But I, even I know. you couldn't. Well, no, I couldn't. All I said was it's odd fellows. That's all right. I said. But then you looked up what <laughs> I-O-O-F stands for. Go ahead. It, it's the Independent Order of Odd Fellows, Lodge Number 66 in St. Cloud, Florida. And I guess they meet uh, the first and third Thursday of the month. And you can contact Miss Cheryl Wallace for some more information. So we'll put that information down for you. And so Bill, not my Bill, but Bill, uh, this is terrible, but I'm going to forget his last name. But anyway, so he's <laughs> always there. He's always there cooking the steaks. And um, you know what I love about going to the same place every two months to give blood is the fact that every time you go, you see the same people basically yeah so it's just just like it's kind of like a family event it's like you know we always try to drum up and do little social posts and get people hey come you know come give some blood and get a free, free steak dinner i don't eat the steak but he piles my he'll always pile my extra potatoes and vegetables <laughs> i just have a big plate you know so it's, yeah. it's, it's it's good though it's good great people um the you know one blood that's say i take your blood i mean it's fairly easy simple as long as you pass that iron test sometimes right. i don't do that so i know listen i i have i'm traumatized i haven't given blood in a little bit admittedly um mostly because i would run out halfway through and then they have to throw uh. my whole donation out so i sat there for four, 45 minutes uh. and then i stopped giving and then so i got a little traumatized i think i need to go back i'm being a big baby i should just go do it again i was probably dehydrated that day yeah 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 like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Whatever, but it sounds like a good idea, and I think if we're going to go to anything, it should be the one that gives you the free steak dinner. Oh, definitely, definitely. <laughs> Although I think I need that beforehand for the iron. I don't know. How does yeah, that yeah, work? that's true. That's true. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've had a couple of times where I think for women you have to have a twelve, and like I'll have eleven, and then then they'll say you need to eat meat. That's why you have you know. So right. yeah, I try to I try to take iron pills before a couple of days before, <laughs> so I pass. <laughs> but um, but no, it's good. I love going there. I think it's a great event. Um, you know that the um. Um, did you okay, say independent on. order of odd fellows yes it right Aye. you did i o o f and they, the odd they're fellows. a great group they're a great yeah. group that they, you know that maybe they'll be one featured yeah yeah absolutely so what else we have uh let's see on april 10th from two to four on sunday oh just kidding that's not what i wanted to do so what you else say- do we have <laughs> <laughs> so we have april 16th the easter egg extravaganza and that was at the community center too, right where the where the blood bank was. And so that's right on Seventeenth Street. Um, this one is five dollars per person. They only do cash, um, so it's kind of good. Um, ages um, three to twelve. Easter egg hunt, games, crafts, vendors, food trucks, ice cream truck, and a bounce house. 
And that's 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. And that's really important because I've heard from some parents. I mean, my children are much older now, but I've heard from some parents, you know, younger parents that they would much prefer the earlier events because the kids get cranky and stuff like that. So it's a great time. Mm -hmm. 11 to 1 at the St. Cloud Civic Center. Um, And then on April 20th, we have the adult movie matinee from 1230 to 219. That's very specific. That must be the runtime of the film. (laughs) (laughs) And so uh, the movie feature being shown is Mage of Belle Isle, starring Morgan Freeman and Virginia Madsen. So it's rated PG. Um, but it's at the St. Cloud Community Center again from 1230 on, and its age is 18 years of, um, 18 years of age and older. No, well, that's pretty good. I mean, that's so, f- so far we have two adult events going on in St. Cloud. That's yep. fun. And that one's free. Yep. That's that always free. nice. Mm-hmm. All right. So what do we have next? Um, then they have an adult, a trip to the, uh, Wachee Springs State Park and that's April 21st. You meet at 630 in the morning and you return at seven. And it's at, you meet at the St. Cloud Community Center, again, on 17th Street. Um, you're, how much is that one? Oh, 65. oh, yeah, $65 per person. Sorry about that. Um, the fee includes round trip transportation, admission to the park, wilderness river cruise, ranger and mermaid shows, and a Google, a Google, a Google, oh Google bag. Gosh, a Google bag. <laughs> you, you don't have a Google bag? Everyone has Google bag. A goodie bag. <laughs> Yeah, I'm having trouble with my contacts. <laughs> I don't know why. Since know. yesterday, since the whole eye thing. But yep. anyway, um, so, so, I mean, um, pre-registration, of course, is required. You can't just show up. But That's awesome. And so then uh, April 23rd, um, there is a Borrow Pit Pond Fishing Derby. It's on Budinger Avenue across from St. Cloud Elementary. It's $10 a person. Um, shore fishing only. Bring your own fishing pole and tackle. Bait will be provided. Um, there's different age groups. So they're the tadpoles, which is from three to five years old, half pints from six to eight That's so cute. and minnows from nine to 12 years old. Um, so it sounds like it's going to be a lot of fun if you have kids who like to go fishing and, and it's littler ones too. So I don't think it's, I mean, I don't know. It could be very competitive. We were very competitive with kids, yeah. but it might not be. It could be a good fun time. Yeah. No, that looks like something maybe, uh, uh, KJ would KJ like. KJ would like, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. And so then on April 23rd, we have Earth Day, 11 to 2, again at Peghorn National National Nature Park. Oh, boy, I need to go back to <laughs> Nature Park. Someone <laughs> get this woman a cup of coffee. <laughs> anyway, um, for those people who don't know Peghorn, you just make a left off of 192. You go down um, a budding jerk, mm-hmm. right? And then just cross over 17th Street, and Peghorn is is almost like the next block on the right. Right. You know? So it runs parallel to 17th Street behind the community center. All Everything is right in that area. Um, but, um, but that looks like something, you know, something Earth Day. Just join us for, join us to help clean up the park. Oh, so they're making you work. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a small portion of it, but it did lead the sentence. So I guess that's a pretty important yeah, part. There'll be environmental uh, exhibitors, oh, upcycling crafts, um, live music, giveaways, food trucks. So it sounds like a fun day. Yeah, it's a good one. Yeah. Um, and then we have a lunch and learn fitness awareness on April 27th from 11 to one at the Marina banquet hall. Um, and it's just talking about how all the different ways that you can stay active and increase your fitness level. It's sponsored by Humana and registration is inquire is required to ensure everyone has a meal. Um, uh, but it does, it's a dollar per person. So that, well, they probably do that just to make, you know, try right. to get people to register, get a commitment from you. Yeah. yeah no, that's <laughs> so good. bring your dollar, get a meal and learn how to. Be more active and fit. Yep. And then don't forget uh, um, the monthly uh, downtown St. Cloud um, market, monthly market. So let's try that again. St. Cloud downtown monthly market. (laughs) Oh, boy. I should have just left and had you do this podcast (laughs) by yourself. Anyhow, um, that's on uh, Wednesday, April 27th, from 5 to 9. They just had one. Um, a couple of days ago uh, for the month of March, and it was really great. I mean, it just seems like the more new vendors and, and just more and more, you know, just more and more people, and there were a lot of people there. Right. We actually stayed. We watched them close up the streets. It was interesting. We were there for lunch, Hannah and I, and at 10th Street um, Produce for lunch. We watched them. Like, they put up the signs early and say, don't park on the street. Right. From, like, noon, I think. Probably to make sure when people leave that nobody else comes in and takes their spot. Yeah. So we parked the car and it was noon, twelve thirty. But we were we were watching the car because right there on the corner of Tenth Street. And then we watched them like set up the whole downtown. It's kind of neat. We're like, whoa! I didn't know. Oh, look at this! They popped the little, so you know those little um, electrical um, 
outlets that they have in your living room, you know, to right. open up. Well, they have that on the core street, right on the corner of 10th. So they just like pop these, it looked like they popped the street open and then they put those, those heavy poles to yeah. block. Yeah. I, I just thought that was neat. I didn't know. I just, you know, you don't really you pay have, attention to that, right, but right. we watched them set it up. But then what was so funny was we stayed so late that night that we actually were there sitting outside a fire, watching them break down. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so, so we you, saw the whole street go up and we just saw it go down. You know, and I was not there all day. We, we laughed and worked. And, sure. No, but, she, she moved from 10th street down to the fire bar, I think. No, yes. I'm just kidding. <laughs> you should have had a, a GoPro to record a time lapse of them yeah. setting it up that and tearing it down. That would have been good. It would have been good. And do you know what they, so, um, at the end of the night, they were closing up fire and, and they like, if the people there, they just, they don't say, Oh, it's nine o'clock. We're closing up, but right. we were the last ones there and they gave us like our drinks in a plastic cup. And then they put like a label on it. Cause you're, you're allowed to now like walk around the streets with alcohol. So, right. um, but we, we just sat out front, but I just right. thought that was interesting. So yeah. it was good stuff. Cool. A great crowd. Good fun time. Yeah. So that's always a good time. The monthly market downtown St. Cloud. And it seems like they're getting better and better. Oh, all the time. Yep. You know? So that's really cool. Yeah, yeah. That's absolutely. awesome. And then apparently St. Cloud really wants us to focus on our nutrition. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> because I think this is the 17th. No, I'm just kidding. Um, there's another adult uh, nutrition class. Uh, this one's actually beginning in May, uh, May 5th um, from 10 to 11 and again from 6 to 7. <laughs> um, and it's free. It's at 620 East 17th Street. But apparently they would like us to watch our waist sizes. They said yes. we all got too big during COVID. <laughs> and we need to work on that. So, um, but a lot of great events. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, wouldn't know, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah. Small town living, but they really do it big with, you know, making sure that you keep the community feel. And and I, I just don't think enough people know that the, these events are going out. Right. That that's really the bottom line. You right. You know what I mean? So, um, but this is a great place to tune in to find out, you know, what's going on for the month. And, and we'll try to, you know, tag all these people to when it goes to social media. So this way, you know, they, they get the word out and pass it along. So. Yep, absolutely. Well, th- that was great. So uh, enjoy your events in April. If you celebrate, have a very happy Easter. I hope you guys have fun, have a good time. Um, you know, I just can't believe it's April already. Oh my gosh. Wow. <laughs> and where did the year go? But uh, if you have any suggestions for podcast things that you want to hear, uh, give us a call at one eight four four St. Cloud S T C L O U D one eight four four St. Cloud, um, or send us an email at discover St. Cloud at gmail.com. And until then, we will see you in the next episode. Bye. <laughs>